Hey there, how's it going? This is Ash from Fetch Profits. Unmounts happens to be one of the most capable and an easy landing page builder that you could use to create landing pages or funnels for your business. The reason why you build landing pages in the first place is to ensure that whenever you're sending people to take a particular action on your page, you do not want them to go to a page that is already cluttered. Now, a typical website is usually cluttered with navigation menu on the top. Then you have images and slideshows and content and galleries and more images and more content and a blog and social media links and so much more on a website that is cluttered. And when an average visitor with an attention span of a fly ends up visiting your website, it becomes way too much for that person to take in and doesn't understand what really to sign up for and what is it that you want them to do on your site. And for that reason, you build landing pages which are far more focused than a typical website. So you don't have the navigation menu on a landing page. You don't have extra links like social media links on a landing page. And you don't have slideshows or whatever else it is that is usually found on a website on a landing page. Also, because a landing page is a part of a sales funnel, and because you're making an offer on a landing page for people to sign up for so that they become a part of your marketing system. A landing page usually has a very clear offer, a clear headline, subtext to support that headline and huge buttons that help people take action on your landing page. If you want more information about sales funnels, please click on the links provided below to check out my other video on fundamentals of sales funnels. Here we are going to take an overview of how Unbounce works and how you can build a typical landing page with Unbounce. So now you log into Unbounce account and once you log into your Unbounce account, a list of pages that you might have already designed are displayed to you. On the left, you have a general menu where you can head out to things like AMP, integrations, domains and other settings. To create a new landing page, all you need to do is click on the create new button on the top right corner. At this point, you are given options on how exactly you want to go about building your landing page. There are a few templates within Unbounce that are available for you right on the word go. Start with a blank page or you could start with a builder basics template that will show you how things are done. Or you could start with any of the templates that are available for you. You can even sort out your templates depending on what kind of a landing page you want to build. So if you are a consulting agency or a consultant or a service provider, you might want to go for a consulting template or you might want to choose a lead generation template. If you're giving away an ebook as a part of your sales funnel, you might want to choose ebook. If you're launching a webinar, you could choose the webinar funnel. And let's assume that you choose a webinar funnel and I choose a template right here. I kind of prefer whites more often, so I'll choose the white template. I'll give my template a name. I'll call it new webinar and I'll start with this template. What you see now is the Unbounce dashboard and it really is intuitive and easy to use. Now to the left, you find elements that you could add to your landing page, including sections, which happen to be the building blocks of every landing page that you will build. To the right, you have page properties, goals, and several other options that you have available to work on your landing page, including styling and several other options available to make your landing page work for you. On the top, you have a few other options such as undo, redo, moving up, moving down, sending an element backward or forward, copying an element, pasting an element, duplicating an element, and to delete elements. To the very top on the left, you have buttons for variants, so what you're essentially building the first time around when you log into Unbounce is the variant A. Now variants are used for A-B testing or split testing. Variants are usually created, test out two variants, one against the other to determine which of the landing pages work better while you run your campaigns and get traffic to this landing page. So is the variant A work better than variant B? You'll be able to find out and let data speak for itself instead of you making any decisions based on intuition or preconceived notions. So the first landing page that you will build here is usually the variant A. If you would like to test out the variant A, you could duplicate that variant A here and create another variant such as variant B. Now to build your landing page, the first order of the day is to obviously change the logo. Now the good things about Unbounce is the fact that it's a truly pixel perfect drag and drop builder. What I mean by it is the fact that you could hold on to an element and drop it absolutely anywhere you want inside the landing page. Now depending on your design needs and depending on how you want your landing page built, you might find the need to move elements around 
with ease and precision and that's what unbounce gives you now you could change any element anywhere inside any section drag and drop elements around move elements around drop one element from another section to another section now to change the elements inside the landing page you just have to double click on that particular element highlight it and change it as you can see you could just double click on each element and make your changes as you go along if you would like to reposition the elements such as if i would like to reposition this particular headline you could do that easily by dragging your element and even setting up the text styling you could change the font of the text you could even add or remove fonts for example if i would like to use poppins as my font i could just go ahead type poppins find the font add it to my page here change my fonts i could highlight this text change that to font to poppins to say medium and i would like to align it to the left and I could go along and keep making changes to my design. Now, another beautiful aspect of using Unbounce is the fact that Unbounce has invested in several improvements over the time to make your images lightweight so that your pages load faster and also easy to add images to your landing page. If I would like to add an image to the right side of my landing page, I would just have to drag and drop an image element here. And then I have the choice of either uploading my own images or uploading Unbounce's public images or make use of Unsplash which happens to be one of the leading providers of royalty free stock photos. I could drag that image element and size it the way I want it and then align my text in a way that it will go across the image. As a matter of fact you could add any image here or even add a video if you would like to. If you would like to add a video or select that image, delete that image choose embed video as an option and then paste a video that you might want to add for now i am discarding that and i would go ahead and build my form as it goes now as you can see there's a form here and i could change the form any way i want it as mentioned before it's a truly pixel perfect drag and drop builder for some reason if i wanted my form not here in another section but right here on the top where my headline is i could add it as such and if I wanted to make changes to the form elements so that it displays all right or if I wanted to make changes to the form fields or if I wanted to make any other changes to my form I could just double click on the form and my options pop up I would like to remove the last name here don't want to clutter the form and I just want to use first name and email and I want to name the first name as just name and I want to make it a required field so I can choose that and now I want to change my elements so that they are visible on this white background. I could come down here and change the label attributes for the form. So I could change the color now to let's say black. My form field name showing up. I could align the form field elements to either the top of each form field or to the left. And I can add a button right here. As usual, I can make changes to the button, include which action to take when somebody clicks on the button. I would want to change my text to something like sign up now. Change my font family to pop in so I can keep everything in a single font. Change the appearance of the button itself and change the text color to black. What is the goal of this particular form? Now, Unbounce wants to know when can it count it as a conversion? Typically, in online marketing speak, if somebody were to come onto this page and sign up for your form, it's counted as a conversion. That's how goals work with forms. And as you go along building your landing page, you will realize that you could just add sections wherever you deem appropriate. Add a section here, drag it to expand the section, delete this button. Now that you wanted to use this section to showcase about yourself or wanted to add a bio, add an image here or choose a random image just to show you how it works quickly. Align that image, set that image, drag and drop that image so that it's perfect and it sits all right. Choose a text box, add a heading here which says something like about me. And then choose another text box right underneath the previous text box and add a little bit of content about yourself each box expands with respect to the text that you have available inside it if you would like to highlight an element of the text just highlight that piece of text go here to the font element styling options and change the text color to let's say a red you would be able to highlight that piece of text that you wanted to highlight 
So you could see you could design your landing pages the way you want them to be. You could add bullet points as images or as pieces of text inside of icons. You could add images. You could even circle them and create any kind of design that you want by using Unbounce. If you were to use multiple landing pages such as Unbounce page number one and page number two, you would be able to do that as well. Now, if you wanted to create another variant of this landing page so that you could test between the A and B variants after you save and publish this, you could just go to the top left menu, click on variant A, create a duplicate of variant A. Now, when you do that, you have an AB test center inside Unbounce for each page and you'll have first variant right here. You also can choose to create a variant from this page. Also, you could just click on duplicate this variant and also give each page a way telling Unbounce to send certain percentage of traffic to variant A and certain percentage of traffic to variant B. So if I click on this variant, which is the first variant or variant A, click on duplicate this variant, I'll have another variant showing up right there. And once I have that, I can assign weights by clicking on it and saying 50%. So when I say 50%, Unbounce automatically calculates and provides equal weight to each of the variants. As you might have noticed, you now have a single URL for your landing page, but Unbounce will randomly show either of the variants to your visiting traffic so that you get a perfect case for testing out your variant A and variant B. And as this page test goes along, as you receive traffic to the landing page, you will be able to see how many visitors you got the views and your conversions. This is how variants might show up inside your Unbounce for each page and you will be able to see weight assigned to each of the pages. You will be able to see the visitors to each of the pages, views on each of the pages and the conversions attributed to each of the pages so that you have an ability to test out which page is converting better than the other. As this test goes along, you can create an unlimited number of variants to test one variant against another to find your perfect combination of landing pages and working for your campaigns the best. Now, the other aspect of Unbounce is leads. As each person signs up on your landing pages, you'll be able to see all your lead details right here inside Unbounce with their names, the variant they signed up for, their email addresses. You also have an ability to integrate Unbounce with several tools such as Constant Contact, Active Campaign, Zoho CRM. Now, if your chosen CRM or if your chosen email service provider is not inside of this native integration with Unbounce, you also have Zapier, which can help you connect any other app that works with Zapier. So you could just connect your Unbounce account to any CRM or any email service provider you might like. Now, just in case there might be a service provider, you can also use what is called as webhooks to finally link your page with your CRM or link your page with your email service provider, assuming that your email service provider or CRM gives you the option of using webhooks. And when you're finally done with your Unbounce page, when you're ready to go live, you can just click on publish page. What I really like about Unbounce is the ease with which you can design landing pages. The fact that you could build multiple landing pages for each campaign or offer, Unbounce's drag and drop builder is a truly pixel perfect drag and drop builder loads fast and works intuitively drag and drop elements in, into your landing page to build your landing page and within your landing page you can move elements around move sections around and position your elements exactly the way you want them they have a fast way to upload images to add images to your landing page they also have integration with Unsplash which makes it really easy and fast to add images to your landing page. Unbounce also has a vast array of integrations available. It also has a way for you to integrate with Zapier. You can also choose the option of using webhooks to integrate Unbounce with any of the CRM or email service provider or other marketing tools that you might end up using. Unbounce also has another product called pop-ups and sticky bars that will allow you to create pop-ups such as exit intent pop-ups. You can choose to show pop-ups just when people are leaving without taking any action on your site. And you can also have alert bars or sticky bars as they're called. Any leads that sign up on your pop-up or on your sticky bar integrate directly with your MailChimp, with your Drip, with Campaign Monitor or with your CRM if you connect both. It's all one single ecosystem that you're working with and every lead that signs up on either your pop-ups or your landing pages or your alert bars gets into the same lead management system inside Unbounce. If you use 
a typical HTML or CSS site, or if you use a PHP based website, you would need to choose to add a domain and designate a C name with your DNS provider to integrate so that you have a branded domain for your landing pages. If you're using WordPress, it's an easy three click integration to integrate with your WordPress websites, provided you upload a plugin for, for Unbounce and make it work for you. You can add multiple users and depending on the kind of an account you have with Unbounce, you can also have sub accounts and dedicate those sub accounts to your clients. So I hope you like the review of Unbound. If you have any questions, please do comment below. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.